Welcome back to the channel, and I'm back in Instruments of Destruction looking at some more insane creations on the workshop, starting with the ACMW Stride Engine version 1.2 by Arad. So let's spawn the, whoa, what's going on my camera here? We're gonna spawn this thing in here. So this is a, seems like a bipedal type of robot. So we got like piston, or no, I don't know if those are pistons there. There's definitely some pistons in the legs maybe. All right, oh boy. All right, well, this is how this thing walks. Oh my goodness. This is a shockwave machine. Look at that. Wait, does it stay on water too? Okay, no, it doesn't. It does not stay on the water. Okay, wait, hold on. Are there more controls so that there's cannons on this thing? There's gotta be a way to fire the cannons, right? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's just a, a wave of explosive cannonballs. All right, what about T? Wait, what does T even do? I don't actually know what T does. Oh wait, does T go backwards? What? Is that, is that supposed to happen? Oh, you know, I think this thing deserves to be in the desert map so it can really, uh, it can really get its full potential of how fast it can run here. So the description says to go about half power, which you can see the power level right here, until you get to about 140 kilometers an hour. Well, it, all right, hold on. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep ramping it up. All right, oh, maybe 140 is its max. Nope, it's going faster. The camera shake is so much though. Oh, whoa, it's going way faster now. What? There must be a repulsor drive in here or something. Yeah, there has to be a repulsor drive. We're just, we are just uh, hanging out on the ground now. We're, we're skating. We're a skater. All right, back forward again. There we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, how long is it gonna take for us to get back to uh, the building over here? I just wanna run through this building. How are you guys doing with the camera shake? All right, look at that. I can't even aim. <laughs> oh, wait, what just happened? Oh, something happened. Now we're going backwards again. This isn't what I wanted. All right, hold on, hold on. I think we're leaning too far back for some reason. Was it the cannons? Did I do that? Wait a minute. There's cannons in the back too? Oh no, those are thrusters. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, is that what T does? Okay, well, I've destroyed the thing behind me somehow. All right, I think T does have something to do with um, reversing direction somehow. All right, we're back to moving forward though. Yeah, I think I was pressing T and then that made me stop going forward. I really don't know what's going on with the T button, but uh, something's definitely happening with it. All right, we're just gonna go straight through this. Oh. All right, that was fantastic. All right, but we can't spend too much time on one creation. I have a lot of crazy looking creations lined up for you guys in this episode. Okay, up next is the Maglev Monotank by Arch B Glow. So, uh, from what I can understand, this is somehow a tank track that is standalone. There's nothing inside the tank track holding it up. And are there magnets? These are magnets. Okay, so maybe all the magnets are just like, they're, they're just repelling each other and keeping it stable like this. Like it works. It actually somehow works. There's a bunch of logic in here too. Like, I am a little bit confused as to how this is exactly working. Like, I understand- wait, there's A and D? Can this thing actually turn? I'm trying to turn to the left. I hear something going when I turn to the left. I don't know- I don't see anything happening, though. It's kind of crazy that this is- this is stable. It actually works on its own. Oh, are these, uh, universal joints here? Look at that. Okay, that's cool. Why am I slowing down? What happened? Why am I slowing down? Alright, can we go backwards? Oh. Whoa, hold on a second here. Is this magnetically driven? I don't know if you guys saw what I just saw, but it looked like there was a wave going through this thing, but like it fell behind the wave of magnetic triggering. I don't know if that's actually what's happening. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure. Hold on, let me open this up in the build mode. Though so the connections in this game are really hard to kind of, or they're hard for me to read. Yeah, like I actually don't know how this thing goes. I know how this thing stays like uh, in its shape with the magnets, that makes sense. But how is it actually traveling? These are rubber pivots, so there's no actual power in these pivots. So what makes this thing go? Oh, there's repulsor drives. Okay, that makes sense. I think each one of these, uh, yeah, oh, each one of these tread segments has a repulsor drive in it. Oh, that explains something. That explains why I stopped going when I was looking sideways. The repulsor drives apply a force in the direction that I'm facing. 
So I have to I actually have to look in this direction to apply the most force in that direction. Yeah, so if I look in this direction now, you can see that it stops and it starts going backwards. Okay, that starts to make sense. All right, so then what happens if I try to turn if I'm facing in this direction? All right, let's get some speed first. There we go, and turn to the right. It does turn. Okay, that's just a force applied to the repulsor drives, though. Man, the repulsor drives is making so many things possible that just would not have been po I don't think this would be possible without the repulsor drives. Like, what would be driving this otherwise? That is crazy. All right, but I cannot lose sight that this is still instruments of destruction. I must drive this thing into a building and see what happens. All right, here it goes. You think it's going to do anything? Oh, look at that. Is it going to be able to climb up? No, it's just going to go straight through pretty much. It is kind of almost the perfect height, but it's swaying a little bit and uh, causing the ceiling to get... <laughs> look at that. Oh, that's really funny. That's fun to look at. All right, well, we made it through. No problem at all. Okay, up next, we have the Mongus 8 Pod by Johnny Arson. I don't know what this does. Okay. Okay, this thing looks dangerous. How is this thing staying up there? All right, uh, there's only one button. So let's press the one button. Three, two, one. The map is gone. Everything. <laughs> Look at the ground. Oh, it happens again. Okay. All right. No, stop. So, hold up. I can't even zoom out far. And hold on. Let me go into a, a free cam or something. Here we go. Free cam. I'm just gonna zoom way, way out and press it again. Look at that. This is this is some sci-fi stuff here. Like this is how the world ends. Like it's just literally that quick. Like that. That's just gonna happen one day. This black hole is gonna form. It's gonna go. <laughs> and then eat up the world and we're gonna be gone. We won't even notice it happens. It'll, it'll just be gone one day. All right, I gotta try this in a map, uh, in the other map with the more buildings in it. Okay, buildings, are you ready to get devoured? Here we go, three, two, one, go. And they're gone. <laughs> hey, you guys wanna see a magic trick? Now you see them? Now you don't. Ta-da. Oh, looks like this one's gonna also destroy the world. This is called the Impossa Drill by Johnny Arson. This is actually a pretty fun... Ugh. Why did it make that sound? They just think the designs of these are so cool. Look at this. It can aim up and down. Uh... Oh. Oh, that is cool. That is such a cool idea for a drill. It's a laser, sh no, it's a drill shaped laser. I was gonna say a laser shaped drill, drill shaped laser. Yes, that is the right order of words. This is a really cool concept. I like this one a lot. There we go, there we go. A Little bit more reasonable than the uh, complete and utter destruction of the universe. <laughs> we have a little bit more precision with our destruction here. Oh, there goes that building. Yeah, this is, uh, this, how is this built? Like, how is that staying up here? There's something invisible here. I don't know how this is staying here. I don't see pieces. Is there something, is there something that I don't know about with the building here? Now, I know there's like a lot cabs option, but that means it won't move at all, I thought. It's not lock cab relative to the rest of the creation, so I don't know if there is some type of option that I'm not aware of on how to attach these things invisibly. Or is this like something new? I don't know. Yeah, see, even all of these are also floating. But not only that, but wait, so then what is causing this to spin? Where is the source of this spinning coming from? Is there a joint somewhere? Yeah, see, and the I can't even look at the controls of this because everything is covered. All right, well, you know, let's move on. This one's clearly over my head. Okay, up next is Spore 2 by Pyrotechnikid. And okay, there's depth. There's an update. So something has happened with this game. <laughs> How does this stuff work? This one, I might be able to figure it out because there's less blocking my path. But, uh, oh, this is really interesting. Like, see, I just want to know how this stuff is floating unattached. They are attached to something. Is there an invisible paint? Whoa! What? What? No, wait, how is this possible? What happened in this game? How are these moving? 
Hold on. We have flex connection. Is that it? Flex connection? Is that the new thing? Flex beam. Logic. Basic. Where's flex connection? Wait. There's a button. G. There we go. Okay. Decorative. Flex connection. What does it mean? I need something to attach to. What is this? Gyroscope. These are all gyroscopes. All right. I'm gonna delete one of these things. Okay, I'm gonna add a flex connection. I don't understand the flex connection. Okay, material linkage. Oh, linkage one, two. Wait, what? So this flex connection is new to me. I don't remember reading too much about it for some reason. Let me do a quick experiment here. I'm just gonna do some of that and then I'm gonna put something up in the air here. And then I'm going to choose a flex connection and a flex connection. Oh, fascinating. And then if I do uh, more of this. Now, with those flex connections, if I add... I don't really understand how these work yet. So this has linkage one. Now, if I do another flex... Okay, so this is what is happening right now. Then what if I want these things to move? Then what happens? Wait, that one just... Stopped. All right, well, flex connection is the secret to all of this, apparently. Flex triangle, flex panel. Wait, what is a flex triangle? Oh, my, we, th this is the most wedge gang thing ever. All right, well, clearly there's been some improvements to the building system here. All right, moving on, we now have Project ASAR by Phoenix, which I think this uses the new accumulator. Oh, look at this ball. Oh boy, look at this thing. This is pretty cool. All right, uh, I don't, all right, so we just have normal WASD and then strafing, and then T is to do that. Okay, R. Did you hear that? These are all accumulators. Does that make a difference? Does having multiple accumulators do something? I mean, I wouldn't think it matters how many you have. So this is definitely a more tame version, I think, of an, of an accumulator. No, not the Katamari style. This thing is just touch it and it's yours. Uh, not the rolling kind of animation that we had in the experimental episode with the accumulators. So yeah, we're just going to keep touch. It's just going to be... <laughs> It's gonna be very heavily weighted towards the front, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm just gonna keep touching stuff with the front. I'm getting, I f I'm feeling very heavy. I don't know if these accumulators have mass compensation on, but yeah, you can just see the stuff all accumulating. It turns yellow when it gets accumulated, and I think I'm stuck now. <laughs> Let me click on one of these accumulators. No, I don't need an accumulator. I need the repulsor or whatever. I, I'm never gonna be able to find it, dang. Yeah, somewhere in here is the controls and I wanted to put on mass compensation, but I have no idea where those controls actually actually are. Oh man, that sound when all these accumulators turn on is crazy. All right, I'm actually, I'm already stuck again. <laughs> okay, up next we have the SW1 11.1 Beast by Sue Fighter. So this looks like a crazy mech thing. Oh, it poops. <laughs> what? Why? That is W? Oh, no, I think this is... Right, what controls are these? Okay, A. Whoa, we just jumped. All right, D is a jump, apparently. Well, that was quite the jump. That was quite the jump, wasn't it? Okay, I really got to figure out how to control this thing. So that was, um... That was D. I think this is a QWERTY keyboard, isn't it? Uh, E? Oh, 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 what is that doing? Is that to, like, ram with our head? That's pretty cool. Um, it's just cool that the head attaches like back here. It has that that arch going off into the front. All right, T. Oh, T and R. Okay, that's interesting. G and F. Okay, G activated something. Okay, this is how we walk. Okay, Y and H. Not what I was expecting. Okay, we're walking. All right, so now T and R. How do I lift up the head? E? There we go. Yes. So something is also happening. Is that what G is doing? If I turn G off. I think G is like a, a vortex or something. What do the arrows do? Oh, what? What? Oh, we have it. I forgot about the missile launchers. I totally forgot missile launchers were a thing. Look at these things the deploy. What was it the up arrow? All right, well, it definitely shoots in front, and then they just come back down. What does the down arrow do? 
All right, down arrow doesn't really do anything. So this is like turning apparently. All right, and then we have the poop. Oh, of course we have a poop function for some reason. Very deadly poops. Oh, and this isn't just jump. This is like practically flying. Oh, and I fell over. Is G a gyroscope that actually helps me balance? I think G might actually help me balance. It's hard to tell. Oh, now here comes the poop and all right, I gotta try to hit these things with the missiles though. Hold on. All right, here we go. Perfectly aligned for a missile launch. Here we go. Yes! The missiles are so cool. Especially the deployable ones like that. Look at all the dummies go. Well, that building is just gone. That was great. Oh, apparently this is like a turbine that blows the buildings, as you can see. Oh! <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. Oh! Hold on. I think I just realized something. I think there is a missile launch pose. When I press A, this happens. It doesn't look like a lot, but when I... Oh, let me see if this actually works. Then I do the missile launch. It changes the trajectory of the missiles. I think the turbines that are blowing wind actually blow the missiles as well. So here's it without it. And then I turn it on. Look at that. I can actually blow the missiles off their course and change their course, their, their direction. That's pretty awesome. I didn't know that missiles would be susceptible to that. That's pretty cool. Okay, up next we have, whoa. Arachnid Artillery by Tikamari17. And it looks like things are gonna get pretty crazy with this. I love the design of this. This gives me portal vibes for some reason. It's like a portal mm -hmm. drone. All right, so it it's it's shaky goes here let me turn up the speed we're at two times speed now the shakiness has kind of gone away except when my feet touch the ground just most of the time so it, it's a very very slow walker turning oh it tries to turn like that okay let's just not worry about that we have this turret though this turret is what's really attracting my attention definitely built using the flex panels man look at this stuff this is so cool all right well we have an aiming laser fortunately so we know exactly where we're aiming i'm gonna press r well, there's the missile pods, and there goes the bottom of that building. All right, there's another button here. Uh, let's aim at the next building over. Now, what does F do? All right, this is a missile-based creation. Through the past two creations, I've been very thoroughly reminded that missiles are a thing in this game. Oh, whoa, hold on a second. I think these missiles, there's missile pods and then there's the rockets. So these rockets, I think are affected by a, uh, there's some type of accelerator, like a magnet. I don't know if they're affected by magnets, but you can see when I fire the pods and then I activate the missiles or the rockets, you can see that the, um, whatever it turns on with the rockets pushes the missile pods away as well, which is interesting. That is really interesting. Okay, man, this gun looks so cool. It really does look awesome. Yeah, oh, there it is. You can see it light up. That is a magnet on an overdrive. All right, let me just... I got two more buildings left. I got to destroy them. I'm going to missile pod this one. That was not the missile pods. I did not mean to do that one. All right, well, you know what? There's still time. There's still time to missile pod. I like how I could just, I could just constantly missile pod. The missile pods don't actually go very far. Well, that's fine because that's what we got the rocket launcher for. There we are. All right, let's move on to the last creation. Whoa, oh man, I gotta switch to the other map for this one for sure. This looks amazing. This is the God Spark by Unripe. And I uh, this, I believe, is an actual transformer. Not only is it a plane that looks amazing, but I think it's also a mech. But uh, we, need, we need the desert island for this one. So, all right, we got, you can see our flight controls. There's our roll. And there's our pitch coming from the same control surfaces. All right, so apparently T is the transform button and R is to start the engine. Okay, so I started the engine. Oh no, the pitch is reversed from what I'm used to. That's gonna be confusing. Wow, this thing flies great. These ailerons work so well. That works really, really well. Apparently F is for missiles. There they go. Missiles on flying creations is like so good now. We don't have to make our own like bomb launching things. Let me see if I can even hit this building. Uh, missiles are F. Come on. Whoops. I tried to pitch up and I did the wrong controls again. Oh, we do have yaw. That would have been good to know. Oh, and there's a machine gun. There's an aiming laser and more aiming lasers. So these aiming lasers must be for the missiles. 
kind of. The missiles, it's the missile pods, so they're kind of inconsistent. Oh, there's uh, those missiles would have been way better to use. Okay, let's try those ones. I know you guys are waiting for the transformation, but I got to explore this thing to its fullest and save the best for last. Aim down. There we go. And G. Yeah, there we go. We got a hit. Yeah, epic. Okay, now I don't know if I can transform in the air or not. Let's try it. Here we go. Look at that. Look at this thing. It's like, would you expect this to be hiding in that uh, plane? I don't think so. And of course, the weapons all still work. But it looks like now this thing can just drive like this. Is that crazy? Is that crazy? Or oh, I have a rear machine gun now. Man, look at this. All right, I'm going to transform back. That is insane. Where did it all go? Okay, looks like there's the feet right there, right? How do you do this? There's the head underneath. Okay, fascinating. Wow. This is like no lag either. This is crazy. Like, I just can't believe how good both things look. They both look amazing and they both actually work. Yeah, I can watch this transformation like so many times. Like there's these little things that come out too. These are the arms, the arms. Look at the arms themselves. Here, I'm gonna go in slow motion here. Watch his arms. That's insane. Like, I can't imagine how long... I, I would love to see a time lapse of building this thing. Like, I would just really love to see that. All right, well, uh, we've... Like, this episode, we've just reached another level of incredibleness with these creations. Like, I don't even know... Where do we go from here? Well, let me know which one of these was your favorite down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.